little girl. Buttercup is about to step on grass for the first time in her life. Hey, girl. From now on, she is free to do whatever she wants. Here's a video of a very sweet sow who is always standing and saying hi. Buttercup lives in a small, small metal pen. The reason why she exists on this earth is to produce babies. That's it. This person inside the factory farm fell in love with her, basically. <laughs> She's very cute, aren't you? Hey, aren't you very cute? Even though you're dirty? Yeah. And now that it was her time, she wanted to do whatever she could to offer Buttercup the best retirement ever. The moment we heard of Buttercup's story and saw videos of her, we kind of just immediately fell in love with her. Just really, really wanted to be able to give her a good life. Here at Ziggy's Refuge, our uh, mission is to take farmed animals from the worst conditions and just give them the best possible life imaginable. Buttercup has been at the bed for a week to get spayed and to make sure that she's healthy. And now she's finally coming home. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here, girl. It's OK. It's OK. Pretty baby. Yeah. He's your family, girl. Cause we love you. <laughs> Come on, girl. Easy does it. Easy does it. Okay, girl. Easy does it. It's okay, girl. Look, it's her first sunset, Jay. It's your first sunset, baby girl. You're prettier than the sunset. Come on, baby. Come on, girl. That's my baby. Come on, girl. To protect all the animals on this farm. We always do a 30-day quarantine period with every animal that comes from anywhere. I like to think Buttercup feels like she's kind of in the Taj Mahal now compared to where she was. She has rubber flooring, she's got a bed, she's got hay, straw, so loves the blankets we gave her to stay warm. Oh. <laughs> That's my girl. Yeah. <laughs> Buttercup. You want your dinner? Look. Up until this point, she's never had any greens, lettuce, fruit, vegetables, anything else that helped pigs thrive. And she definitely loves everything covered in applesauce. Since she's arrived on the farm here, we're slowly seeing more and more things in her getting acclimated. Buttercup. We are starting to see signs of her feeling more and more comfortable. And she knows when she gets fed. As soon as she hears you, she's jumping on the stall door. I'd eye level with you. Begging for breakfast, begging Hi, for dinner. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. You ready for breakfast? Yes. Buttercup! Girl, where are you going? Princess Buttercup. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. What is that? Be careful. Yes. Today's the day that our little girl gets to graduate from quarantine. She gets to go outside. She gets to breathe in fresh air. She gets to play in grass. And she gets to embrace the pig life. Come on, Buttercup. Oh, baby. Come here, little girl. Are you? What is this, girl? Oh, yay. Oh, that's your brother. That's your sister. Tell me about it. Tell me about it, girls. Are y'all going to be friends? That's good.
it, girl. What is this? You want watermelon? You know what that is? Here. You know what it is? Oh, oh, oh. oh my Oh, goodness. do you like that? Your little tapers. Yeah. You're going to have to go stick with the middle of it. You like that? You ain't never had one. Today was an awesome day. Yeah, I'm impressed, Buttercup. Witnessing all of Buttercup's first is the greatest feeling. It really is. <laughs> what are you doing? I'd say within a week, Buttercup will probably be integrated with her new family. What do you think? Look at Buttercup. She's making friends. This is the first time I've ever seen them actually kind of hanging out together. Buttercup, in my opinion, has been through the absolute worst. I can't even imagine being trapped in a cage for six years. And to be able to have a chance to, to show her what true love is and to offer her all the most wonderful things that we can offer pigs here, it's the greatest experience. We're going to do everything that we can to provide her the greatest life for here on out. And she deserves it.